Hello everybody. Welcome to Tidy Up Tuesday. In the nursery. There is stuff everywhere. Which is usually the case when I come home from some time away. There's my bag that still needs unpacking. Clothes that were piled on top of the pushchair. Actually, it doesn't really look that bad, does it? But it is Tidy Up Tuesday, and I know a lot of you like Tidy Up Tuesday. Because it also inspires you to maybe set your timer for 10 minutes and see what you can do in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So I just want to show you this. Who's that behind? It's Fen. It's Annabelle. <laughs> Annabelle and Frankie. Anyway, um, Sheena's friend Sue got her these um, old vintage um, cot covers. Cot duvet covers. Not sure if they're quite vintage. But they're old, that's for sure. Aren't they cute? Though this one has got teddy bears all over it. There's all over it. Look at that, that old fire engine. It's so cute. I love it. That one has a pillowcase as well. That comes with it. And then she also got this one. And I remember um, this. I'm sure my sister had this. It's got a little puppy dog on it. All over it. So I was going to see if either Frankie or Emma Jane wanted one of them on their bed. Let me just spread it out a little bit so you can see. So look, it's cute, isn't it? Little puppy dogs. And that one's got a little butterfly on it. They're a little bit, this one's a little bit bobbly. But this one doesn't have a pillowcase with it. So this one's not bobbly, very soft. <clears throat> so I think we'll be using this one if we use e anyone on the bed. So it's up to these girls at the moment on their, um, <coughs> excuse me, still got a bit of a froggy throat. They have got their unicorns. I bought them both matching sets for the bunk beds when um, we first moved here. So... Yeah, they've got the unicorn, matching unicorn one. And what I need, I need one set. Well, I want one set to take down to Hillside Cottage. My little outdoor garden room, she shed, whatever. It's called a cottage. And because um, I do have a little bed down there that um, Grumpy made, Annie. And it's, and I put it down there now. So whoever comes down with me can just lie on the bed if they want and sit on the bed, or play, whatever. Um, so I do want to take a set down there. So it's up to these two, really. This is Emma Jane's bunk, this bottom one. This is Frankie's bunk, the top one. Uh, so I see if either of them want that. I'm sure one of them will. I think they're so cute. If not, I shall just use them as a play. I shall use one down in the hillside and another one as play. A, like a play mat. Put a thin duvet in it and just use it as a play mat. So, yeah. I don't know why there's a dinosaur in Frankie's, in Emma Jane's pram. I've got my little step stool because I know I'd be getting, probably be getting it up a little bit higher today just to sort out some bits. Um, Alistair's in here. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. And um, Amelia's next door on the sofa and uh, Felicity is in the big pram because Felicity loves the big pram. So the beds are a little bit messy. This, this is Annie's bed. This is Timothy's bed. This is just a cot. Whoever, no one in particular sleeps in there at the moment. It's just, I just put the babies in there. 
and my shelves at Russ made. So the good thing about these cots that I got off of Amazon, they've got wheels on. So they're little convenient, they're little small sizes, but they've got wheels on so I can just pull them out when I want to clean the shelves. This is all Annie's, this is Annie's Toy Story Mad. And there's the doll's house. And baby's clothes. So I'm just doing a, like a quick show of around because we have new people. <clears throat> we have new subscribers. So each of the babies has their own um, little box. Um, I try and dress my babies per personality, really. So what they like. But some babies will get to share when sizes. I need something to put my little sleep sacks in. And the clothes is organised into sizes from this. I got these sizes from a lady called Michelle. These like wardrobe dividers. So that's the clothing. So, so far we've got, this is newborn, so this is Amelia's. Then um, we've got 0 to 3, which is Alistair's. Three to six, that divider there to that divider there is Felicity's. Six to nine and nine to 12 is Annie's because it depends um, on the length of things. And then we've got Emma Jane's goes up to there. That's 12 to 18 and some 18 to 24. And then Timothy's goes along to here. And that is... Six to nine, but it's boys. So when my other when my other lad comes, I'm thinking he's going to be the same size. He might be nine to twelve. I think he'll be six to nine. We'll see when he arrives. He's got some of his hair now, so he's almost there. He's growing his hair. And then this is Frankie's here. Frankie wears age three to four or four to five, depending on the style. And then boxes of their own individual toys and books and everything go all the way along here. Excellent. Oh, sorry about that. Someone wanted me. So we've got, this is a bag of toys, all sorts of pram toys and soft toys and rattles and things. Bag of blankets, a bag of snowsuits. And then underneath it is some vintage stuff or some clothing that I don't use for a particular baby. I did have some newborn stuff out there, so that was good. Okay, and I've got a box in the back here. This has got like extra bits and pieces in. Hair bubbles and stuff. Bottles and feeding stuff. Dummies, bottles in there. I don't even know what's in that one. This has got hair bands in it, that one there. I don't know what's in that one, I can't remember. It might be empty. This has just got... The sunglasses and hair brushes are meant to be in there and some little dummies. So this is a plain white box that I got from Mother Care when Mother Care was still going. And I just got some stickers, Peter Rabbit stickers, and stuck them on. They're on the sides as well. I just stuck them on. I think there's one on the top there. Yeah. My eye candy pram, my reborning, you know, if I need cable ties or bodies or anything that I need. And my certificates are in those two boxes. And that's um, uh, not a high chair, but it is a bouncy chair, but it's a high up level one, which is really, really good if you've got a cesarean or something. But um, it's just up there at the moment out of the way because I'm just not using it at the moment. I used it a lot, so I'm just a little bit bored of that, I guess. Um, Max Cozy, my eye candy bits there. And this shelf has just got various on it. Play mats, extra hangers. Um, pram, stuff for me big pram that I keep in here. So my other prams are down in um, my um, cottage, little cottage. And I keep all of those extra like vintage pram sheets and that down there with the prams, the pram blankets and that, and keep them down there. And then those beige with white spot boxes, they're like for each of the kids really. This is Amelia's. 
Alistair's. And I usually have shoes outside just to remind me whose is whose. This is Emma Jane's. Uh, Felicity's, Timothy's, and also the new boy. And that's his new shoes that I got there. Well, new to me, second hand. And this is Annie's. And then all of the other shoes are out now. I've took welly boots out at the moment because I think now we're moving into autumn winter. We're going to be using more welly boots. So in that suitcase is all the extra shoes. A box of books, a box of play food, um, Annie's toys, Toy Story boxes, Annie's, the Barbie boxes, Frankie's. And there's extras, toys and bits in these two boxes here. That's Frankie's um, box with extra clothes in. These are her little her daps and her another pair of slippers. Timothy's toy box, Emma Jane's toy box. And then, like I said, this bag has all the like littles, all the little toys and things in, little lovies and little things like this. And it's got all the extra little toy things in. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to be tidying up. having a bit of a sort out when um, I was over there and um, I picked out some of the things that she was sorting out she was giving it to um, a charity and but something she gave me for Amelia she gave me this. This is cute. It's like uh, a false cardigan on top of a baby grow. It's got loads of little red roses on it and the jacket's like red. This one, I thought I'd have this. These are um, tartan dungarees. So I'd get this for... Um, Oh, I nearly told you his name then. For my new chap, who's come and see if they will fit him. Might not, because he looks pretty chubby. So they might not. They might fit Timothy anyway. So I have those as well. And I'll show you what else I have. She gave me some bits for Amelia. She gave me this. Isn't this cute? It's um, lilac um, 
trousers, leggings and a top and it's got little white bunnies on it. Isn't that cute? Love it. Thank you very much, Auntie Sheena. And this little dress as well. <laughs> this is so tiny. I think um, I will probably put this over a baby grow, like just a plain pink bait. Well, any of the colours. Baby grow. Because um, I think it'll actually be too... Yeah, it's a tiny baby, so it'll be too small for her as a dress, I think. Maybe not. I might be surprised. But she has got on a baby grow today that she is literally soon going to be out of. And it was part of these three that I bought when I went to Denise's. I bought these three sets of baby grows. So they're like sleepy ones. This is a white one with just a cloud. This is a white one with, um, it's got sleepy and, zzz and sweet dreams and that written all over it in the clouds. It's got different clouds on it. And then there's another white one with just, um, I think it's got pink dots or pink hearts. She's in there wearing it at the moment. But literally, I'm going to have to re-gift these because they are not going to fit her. So she is literally just poking her feet. You know, I'd have to cut the bottoms off like I would have done years ago of my real kids. <laughs> I'll just get these things hung up. I actually like sorting out. I think maybe that's why it doesn't, I'm not bothered about it being un untidy. And then I just get like a little splurge on and slide it all up. Because it literally is only packing stuff away. It's not, I don't need to do any you know, deep cleaning or anything like that. It's not, it's not like that at all. I think this is uh, Emma Jane's, yeah. So Emma Jane, I'm going to show you her in a minute because she is wearing one of those um, new dresses, well, new to us dresses that I bought from, um, from Denise's. She's wearing... One of the pink ones, can you remember? I bought two pink dresses. Um, so it's a thrifting haul that's um, a few, there was a few videos before this when I was with Sheena, my other Reborn Mummy. We went to um, a pre-loved baby boutique and um, I showed you my haul. And here it is, Emma Jane wearing one of the dresses. It looks lovely on her, doesn't it? She's got new slippers as well. She's got ups daisy slippers. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, you won't kiss. Mm. Okay. I know, you're playing with Timothy. But it does. It fits her really well. And it's like, um, it's like really, really lovely soft material. I don't know what make it is. It says D-I-R-K-J-E, 18 months. And she's got um, pink, pink tights on with it. Um, you not thick tights because it's not not cold. And the little thing on the side says love. <laughs> she's down there playing with her new baby. You can, shall I show everybody your new baby? She got a new baby from Auntie Sheena as well. <laughs> he's so cute. He is a boy because he's anatomically correct. He's so cute. Auntie Sheena knows that girl. Loves her babies and her dollies. This was the other one. Another nice soft one. This is from Next. So this is like pink, but it kind of looks a bit peachy as well. But um, yes, so, I mean, I'm jealous of these kids' the kids' wardrobes. They've got like much more clothes than me. <laughs> I just go into Sainsbury's and buy the same old joggers that I always wear. Ta-da! And just some sweatshirts. But I used to spend lots of money on clothes when I was working. So, um... Ooh. I'm tight this in. No, they're not. Uh, they're my jeans, aren't they? Not flex. Okay. And then I got this off of Linda. Linda, I got this off of you, didn't I? And it says 9 to 12 months in there. 
it's massive it fits Emma Jane <laughs> so Emma Jane has been wearing it it's 18 uh, no 12 to 9 to 12 months which is Annie's size it says European size 80 which is um about um nine to twelve yeah about nine months old size 80 but wow <laughs> it's really cute i don't know if you can remember when i opened that package from norway happy mail from norway this was one of the dresses that was in it and i thought it was going to fit annie but the neck is huge it's way too long for annie anyway it's, um Looks nice on Emma Jane. I mean, they have just got tons of clothes, these babies. These babies are mine. Also bought Amelia this. This is so cute. I got this off of eBay. It is brand new. It's bunny trousers, little bunny trousers. They're really, really soft and they've got pink cough cuffs. And it has a little bunny hat. And... A little bunny top at the side, side snaps. And it's got cute, it says little bunny on the bottom. I hope I'm showing you the right way. Yes, I am. It says little bunny on the bottom. Keep me on the time. Oh my gosh, we're on eight minutes. I'm just such a talker. And these are the little tiny socks that I bought Amelia at the doll show. They've got like a little rosebud there. So cute. They're so tiny. Look at them. I showed a picture of her little feet on Instagram with them on. So, so tiny. Oh, and Auntie Sheena. I think I showed this. Auntie Sheena gave Amelia her first dress. And it is another one white with buttons on. Uh, white with buttons on. I'm doing up the button. White with bunnies on. And she wore it to the doll show. It's got like layers underneath it. So, so gorgeous. And it came with a little pink jacket. And then some little nappy cover very very small nappy cover <laughs> and she now gave her these little rabbit booties as well to go with it aren't they adorable so she wore her first dress to the doll show courtesy of auntie sheena <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, tidied. Next time I shall do the shelves, but I'm not going to do the shelves today. But I need to do them next time and the windowsill. But I've done the beds. Packed all the clothes away. So now the kids can play. 
and they look cute playing in there. Bless them. Annie and Timothy. Annie's showing Timothy our book, I think. And Frankie and Emma Jane are playing dollies, dolls' houses. So here we go. All present and correct. That makes my little heart happy. I put all of the um, <clears throat> sleeping bag things that were there up there in one of those spare boxes. That one there. I've got some spare that I have that we bought from the old house under the bed, under one of the beds. It's quite a good storage under the beds. So there are the boxes. And then they fold up flat and they fold into that little box. So there we go. So now I just want to show you a few bits that I've got. I want to show you the shelf. So I didn't touch that shelf or that shelf. Did a little bit there. I didn't really need to touch any of that. This is the back of the door. It's always got stuff on it. And these, I just want to show you these. Frankie got some new shoes, new sparkly shoes. Aren't they cute? Some new sparkly shoes. And a dress. This is a dress she wanted this dress for Christmas. So... <clears throat> To wear at Christmas, not for a present to wear. Not sure where's the best way to show you. Here, this is the best way to show you. It is frozen on the front. But the best way to show you all the glitter on the skirt. And there's frozen Frankie is Frozen, frozen, frozen. All about Elsa and Anna. What else did I get? Oh yeah, I got this for Timothy to wear when the new boy comes. Yay, a new best friend. Isn't that cute? I got that one from Tesco's. And then I got also got this one for Amelia, pram queen. It's pink. And it says, it's pink. He, he has like a pinky peachy colour. Side snaps. It's got black dots all over it. And it says Pram Queen on the front. So I got that before I got um like clothes, before I went to the doll show, before I got clothes given to me from Machina, before I went to... um. Denise's pre-loved place. I bought that one for her. Now, we do not need... But that is so cute. It's a... That one for Timothy is really cute. It's a sleeper. So, navy and burgundy sleeper. Love it. I think that's so perfect for when a new boy arrives. And there we go. That's Frankie's Christmas dress. And treat of sparkly shoes there we go I don't always <clears throat> I bought Frankie some stuff before I went away uh, Frankie very rarely gets treated so to two clothes so she basically wears her school uniform and then play clothes a few dressing up things she's gone past the dressing up phase she was really into dressing up phase once but she's kind of gone past that now she's all about dolls' houses and little miniature things. She does have this one to get ready for Halloween, if you remember. This was one of the dresses that I bought her in her, her, her little haul that I got the other day. So she very rarely gets anything. That's Frankie's hanging clothes. And then a few trousers and t-shirts now in there, which I very rarely put her on, actually. But I really love the dress she's wearing at the moment. So much so that she's still got it on from when I last put it on her. <laughs> but anyway, they look cute. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching us. I hope you got um, managed to like set a timer and get something done while like, you were in here with me. It's always so nice to see it all tidy and sorted. And then my head feels happy. <laughs> my head. 
feels happy when it looks like this. Okay, I know where everything is, know where it should be, and we're sorted. And there we go. Right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.